In our last video, we talked about not washing eggs if you don't have to. However, what if you've got a lot of dirty eggs? For starters, farmers should examine their management practices carefully. High numbers of dirty eggs likely mean there is a problem in the barn. It's best to reduce the need for washing by reducing the number of dirty eggs at the source. We wash dirty eggs using each of these 11 methods commonly used in Alberta. After washing, we counted the number of bacteria on the eggshells. This allowed us to rank the methods. The 11 methods included machine washing, scrubbing, wiping, and running water to name a few. We compared these to our unwashed clean eggs. We also evaluated cleaning solutions, including commercially available egg wash, Clorox wipes, and running water. We cleaned 25 eggs using each cleaning method to accurately measure the method's effectiveness. Once an egg was cleaned, we counted the bacteria on the shell and ranked them from best to worst in comparison to a clean egg. We found that some treatments resulted in eggs that had bacterial counts lower than the untouched clean eggs. These methods are listed above the gray line in the image. This graphic also shows how they vary in cost, with cheapest on the left to most expensive on the right. Sandpaper, rough sponges, or soaking should not be used to clean hatching eggs since they did not result in microbial loads less than the untouched clean eggs. You will have to decide which method is best for your farm. For some, the investment into the most effective cleaning system, an egg washing machine, would be a worthwhile investment, while for others, Clorox wipes may make more sense. Initial and recurring costs, the time involved, and the training time are all considerations in choosing a cleaning method for your farm. Balancing cost, time requirements, and effectiveness will assist in choosing a method to clean your dirty hatching eggs.